welcome back to the channel einstein's mechanics in this video we are going to talk about multiplication of complex numbers uh, in our previous video we talked about how we add and subtract two complex numbers uh, in this video we are going to talk about how to multiply two complex numbers now the technique that we use in multiplying complex numbers is the same technique we use in multiplying out two brackets. So when we have complex number of the form a plus b i being multiplied to another complex number c plus d i, we will use the same idea that we use when we are multiplying two brackets. So the a part is going to this a part, the a of this complex number. We take the a and multiply it by everything here. Then we take this part two and multiply it by everything here. So this is how I mean. This a is going to multiply everything in this bracket. So a multiplying c plus g i, then positive b i. Also multiplying c plus d i. Then you simplify. So you are going, you are going to get a c plus a g i. Because a multiplying c is a c, a multiplying d i is a d i, plus b i multiplying c, so you're going to get b c i plus b i multiplying b d i, so you're going to get b g i squared, b d i squared. This b i multiplying this d i is going to give us b d i squared. All right, now let's do some simplification here. Now, mind you, when we were starting the complex numbers, we made mention of the fact that i squared is going to, is equal to negative 1. So wherever that we find i squared, we put negative 1 here. So here we have i squared here. So in simplifying, I'm going to get ac plus a g i plus b c i plus b g. So we, we are going to replace the i squared here by negative 1. So multiplying negative 1. Are we good? Wherever that you see i squared, we are going to replace it by negative one. We made mention of that in the earlier video that we did. So ac plus adi plus bci. So bd minus one will be negative bd. So when we are when we group the real part and the imaginary part, we are going to get ac. This is a real part because we have no i attached to it. Minus B D plus A D I plus B C I. So we can re rewrite it or rearrange it nicely as A C minus B D as the real part plus A G plus B C. Then we factorize the I out. So this is the imaginary part. So this is simply how we multiply complex numbers. It's just the same way that we multiply two brackets or we distribute two brackets. Now let's take an example. Let's take example all right let's multiply these two complex numbers let's multiply these two complex numbers 3 plus 2i and 4 plus 5i 3 plus 2i being multiplied to 4 plus 5i so like we did earlier on you take the first part and multiply it by the you take the first part and multiply it by everything here and take the second part and multiply it by everything here too so this three will multiply everything in this bracket 4 plus 5i and this 2i 
So positive 2i will multiply everything, therefore, plus 5i. Alright, now let's do our distribution. So 3, 4 will give us what? 12. And 3, 5 will give us what? 15. We're going to get 15i. 3, 4, 12. 3, 5, 15i. Plus 2i. Sorry, 2 multiplying 4 will give us what? 8. So 8i. And 2 multiplying. 2i multiplying 5. 5 is going to give us 10i squared. 3 multiplying 4, 12. 3 multiplying 5i, 15i. 2i multiplying 4 give us 8i. And 5i multiplying 2i will give us 10i squared. Now we shouldn't forget that i squared is negative 1. So 2 plus 15i plus 8i minus 10. Because 10 this part is going to be 10 multiplying negative 1. So you're going to be it's going to be negative 10 as you can see here. So now let's start doing some basic mathematics here. We have 12 here and minus 10 here. So 12 minus 10 will give us 2. And we have 15 here and we have 8. So <clears throat> 15 plus 8 is going to give us what? 23 so plus 23 i so this is the final answer when you multiply 3 plus 2 i and 4 plus 5 i uh, thank you for watching this video stay tuned for the next episode of complex numbers have a good day